Jennifer Navarrete here with Brewing Media, and I'm going to give a quick Twitter Spaces 101 tutorial to just give you the basics. Twitter recently announced that anyone who had 600 followers or more on both iOS and Android now have access to host spaces, so if you're wanting to dive in, this is the beginning stages of what it takes to get there. So let's dive in. If you look here, um, you're looking at my phone, and if you come down and open up the Twitter app, pops up my profile, if you go all the way to the bottom right and look at the quill and you press and hold, a submenu pops up. Now, I'm going to pop out of there because if you just press it, it thinks that you want to create a tweet. So the key is to press and hold. So press and hold, opens up that submenu. When you get to that submenu, then you're going to click the little bottom uh, submenu item, which kind of looks like a sound wave, or at least I think it does. Click that, it'll pop this open and it'll prompt you to create your space, but you want to title it. So I'm going to uh, title it here. And it's going to, um, hold on, she said. <laughs> All right, I'm going to actually title it. So let's go. Twitter Spaces 101. You're going to let folks know that this is being recorded, which, by the way, that is really important that you let folks know that something's being recorded. Um, it's because they can make a decision on whether they want to jump into your room or not, or your space or not, depending on whether you're recording or not. So this is just the way that it goes. What you'll notice first is that I popped in as the host, but when I popped in as the host, my mic is muted. Anyone who comes in as a speaker, they're, by default their mic is muted, and then you have to unmute in order to be heard. So I'm going to unmute, so that way now you'll know that I'm the person who's speaking, but as you can see the little sound waves right next to where it says host. Now I'm, I want you to look at these little submenu items down here on the bottom right, and we're going to start all the way to the right. And if we start there, we're going to go to the share button. You can share, you can invite via direct message, you can share on Twitter, you can just create a tweet and let everybody know that you've got a space happening, or you can copy the link and then share it you know, in a text message, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, anywhere that you can share a link, you can do it here. And then of course, um, if you go to the left after that, you'll see the little heart with the plus, and really that's for the emojis. This is a fun thing that Twitter has, has put out there, is that if somebody is saying something that you really, really like, you know, how can you let them know if you're just listening and they're the ones speaking? Because we don't have visual cues for someone to go, hey, thumbs up, or right on, or anything like that. So the visual cues now become emoji cues. And you can then say, hey, I really like what you're saying. I'm going to give you a 100. Or it could be that you want to let them know hello, and you're waving to them. Or it could, it could be that they said something funny, and you're, you're, you're laughing, right? You're laughing so much that you're crying. So emoji is kind of fun, uh, a way to kind of let others in the audience, other listeners know what you're thinking, to let the speakers know what you're thinking, and to really kind of share some engagement. If we go further left, you're going to see the little people. And what this is is that when you have others in the space, it's going to show you who the speakers are, who the listeners are, um, anyone who you may have removed, which hopefully you won't have to do that, but in case you do, they will show up there. But this is just kind of good room management. It allows you to see who's in the space. And if we keep going, then if you're going to look at the circle with the three dots, and this has a really cool feature. So I'm going to click on that. And this is some of the kind of the, the pipe or the inner workings of Twitter spaces. If you want to learn more about spaces, if you want to adjust your settings, if you want to give them some feedback. Um, but the one that I really want you to look at is at the very bottom, it says view captions. Now notice it's not checked, but if I check it, what will happen is that you're going to start seeing uh, my captions popping up. You're going, to sit there. you're going to start seeing my captions popping up. It's a little sensitive there. And you're going to start seeing everything that I'm saying coming through. Now, this is automated, so it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be exact. It's going to be a pretty good sum summary of what you're saying. And occasionally it gets things really wrong, but Twitter is working on this. Again, this is still something that is relatively new, um, still considered beta because it's not rolled out to everyone. Um, but it is a nice way for folks who, um, for accessibility, and also for those of us who may want to, uh, hear or you know hear or listen to what's being said but not really be able to hear it because maybe we're in a space where we can't have audio or we didn't bring our earbuds or we're in a public setting and that would just be rude <laughs> so we want to still keep up with everything that's going on so captions are a great, great way for that to happen anyway I'm going to end this space and all I do to end the space is just click end and it says do you want to end and it's like yes I'd like to end it and that's it we're done um, no fuss no muss so 
This is part one of a series that I'm going to be doing on live audio in general. We're starting with Twitter Spaces. It's the one that more people have access to. It's the one where you already have a built-in network, and so it's easy to get engagement. We will dive into Clubhouse. I'll dive in when Facebook releases theirs because they did put out a big announcement about their live audio. They're, actually, they have more than live audio. They have an audio portfolio that they're releasing soon. When that comes out, I'll talk more about it. But for now, I figured we'd start with Twitter um, Twitter spaces and we're going to go deeper where we're going to have a, a full room and we're going to kind of walk through what that looks like and talk about some of the nuances and some of the ways that this can be really helpful to teach, to learn, to share, to grow. I hope that you found this informative. If you have any questions or have anything I'd like you'd like for me to cover in future videos, then please leave them down in the comments.